Alright hey guys, with dungeons along the way I figured hey, want to talk about what is the best sword we could currently pick up and use for dungeons. So let's talk about it. So you see right now I got a few swords in my inventory, you know, Slayer Swords and Emerald Blade and Reaper Scythe. There's no Midas, there's no AOTD, we'll get to those. So our current case right now is, yes there's a bunch of weapons, but what one do you want to go forward with? Their Slayer Swords are all really good. We do not know what mob type will be in dungeons, but it might be worth picking up each one of these since it might prove really worth. Now, maybe not the Pooch Sword. This requires Mastiff, but if you're fighting zombie type enemies or spider type enemies, these two swords are the best in their class. They, they beat the number one weapon by a large margin. And by number one is in it's good in an all around against every mob type. So coming in and probably fourth would be the AOTD. You can also use Tactician Sword as well. It is a really good weapon, very affordable as well. It comes in at about four mil, and it will probably keep going down. It might be three mil one of these days. It's actually 3.6 mil. It's really cheap. If you don't have one, be sure to pick one of these bad boys up. You can't go wrong with it. The next sword is the Midas Sword. Midas is really good, but it became really bad. With the last few updates we've received, it fell out of favor. It's been out of favor for a while. It's just people needed enough coins to finally realize that. And by now, you guys are probably like, oh, I know what number one is. But we're getting there. It's overpriced. It's just not really worth it. You do not need the damage level that the sword gives for its price. Not good at all. Coming in at number two is going to be the AOTD again. Now, how can the AOTD be on the list twice? So, the Inner Dragon boosts the stats of an aspect of the dragon. About at level 90, it becomes stronger than a Midas. But at that point, it beats Midas, which makes it pretty much the second best sword in the game. So, again, this is way more expensive than the Midas sword to get like up and running. But it's really good because you're using like the best pet in the game. So if you just want a base sword that's good, you can't go wrong with AOTD. Now, the best weapon is the Emerald Blade. But there's a caveat to that. You need like 250 mil in your inventory to exceed like a Midas's damage. Or probably a little bit more than that to exceed the AOTD damage with a pet. You can get a big number on this. Unfortunately, its number pales in comparison to uh, spider, the Spider Sword, Scorpion Foil, or Reaper Falchion, which is kind of unfortunate, but it makes sense since those are made for specific class, like killing specific monsters. It's just a general use weapon. It might be worth just falling down and using an AOTD, but you can't go wrong with an Emerald Blade if you have enough money. I know it won't, it's not suited for a lot of players. A lot of players will probably just pick up an AOTD and be satisfied with that, or even pick up a Midas. Investing in the pet, and then, or you're just using Emerald Blade, it takes like hundreds of mil. They are like a big investment item, although you're not really investing with Emerald Blade, you are risking your money. That's why there's stuff like the piggy bank to help, you know, offset the risk. So, you know doesn't really hurt to use it unless there's literally a boss that just permanent it just kills you from anywhere like twice so then you lose your money but i don't know i don't think they had something like that probably once you die you probably get kicked out of the dungeon there's also the reaper scythe now this is an okay weapon they buffed it it's still not really that good like it's still worse than an aotd but it's usable it has a special ability where it summons a clone of you, or a zombie of you. And it does bonus damage, like 25% of your damage, or 30% of your stats, which is really good. You can have five of them. So you have, you have 1.5 times your stats and damage with you as mobs that are helping you damage. So if you're hitting like, I don't know, 200k, all your zombies together will be hitting 300k bonus damage altogether. So you're hitting about 500k total by expending some mana and using this. You don't have to use this as your main driver weapon. When you switch swords, it'll buff the zombie stats based on your current stats. So 
it would be a lot worse if it only used off the precise stats, but since it uses the thing you're currently holding, it's really good. This is something you probably should invest in. Reaper will be really good for dungeons. It might be required, because it'll be a big DPS boost for anyone. It's been really affordable lately, so it's definitely worth going for. Compared to everything else, it's kind of eh, but a special ability runs a long way. Like, it can take you probably farther than your current equipment probably ever will. Since the amount of extra damage it provides is huge. Like, way bigger than a talisman boost or that level. Just because it's just like additional 150% in a mob. That, like, is your basically a summon. Which I love summoning. Like, summoner is my favorite class, and it's like the closest thing. So I'm definitely going to run with it. But yeah. Get yourself an armor blade. If you can't have that much money, make sure you get yourself an AOTD. AOTD is definitely what you want to run with if you don't have much money because it's so cheap. But if you got enough money, use Emerald Blade, AOTD with Pet, and maybe even a Midas if you just want to, you know, be balling and have a Midas. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Maybe leave a sub if you made it all the way through, and I will catch you next time, hopefully in dungeons. Take care, guys. Bye.